Well, hi pyro addicts. This is definitely uh, a video for, for people that are into nostalgia. So here we have two um, Kim Bolton boxes. Um, they're not old, but they definitely remind you of the old days, don't they? When things were not overpackaged. So what we've got here is the steel selection box. And as I said in previous videos, I'm just going to probably just keep this one. It'd just be a nice little item to keep as part of my collection. Um, but I'm going to fire this one in another video and we'll do a breakdown on everything and we'll see what's really going on with this. This is an interesting box because it has replacements in it. Substitutions. Um, and you can see it's 249.5 net explosive content. The fireworks are listed on the back, um, except in my case they've put in two Midnight Amethyst Fountains rather than one, and they've taken out the best one, this one, Whistling Marbles, which is a, a fountain mine combination. So, yeah, and also when I ordered this, I actually ordered the gold box. And when it came, I had these two boxes together instead of the gold, so I was a bit miffed about that. Um, but this stuff happens, doesn't it? So let's just go through them anyway. And then in the uh, the next video, hopefully, we'll be uh, firing them. And you'll see the effects and colours and things. So we have an asteroid fountain. Um, and the NEC is 48 grams. I'd say it is a true cone, so uh, it should be okay, I guess. I'm just hoping it doesn't crackle. Uh, there you go. Doesn't they don't tend to have the descriptions on these? There you go. Anyway, we've got uh, poison ivy, which is a, a, a battery of fountains. 30 grams. Nice artwork on the labels though. Uh, the Midnight Amethyst, I'm really hoping that this might be a lovely purple colour. It feels quite light, 18 grams. This is the, the biggest firework in the box. It's the heaviest, but it's got a lot of clay in the bottom for stabilisation, you can feel that, because it's 65 grams. And it's a battery of fountains again. I have a feeling this one's going to crackle. Why do fountains crackle? They never used to uh, when I was a kid. I think it's an, an American thing. Uh, I'm not saying crackle's bad, but just every fountain crackles. It's ridiculous. And uh, we just want fountains that look pretty, nice colours and stuff. We will see. The substitution, another midnight amethyst fountain. Um, so we've got a battery of shot tubes here. <laughs> Don't know what these will do, but 14 grams. I don't know, they're like five mil or something, the, the tubes in here. Um, I'm hoping this will be a lovely blue colour. I'm hoping it'll be a non crackling, nice blue colour fountain, but we will see. Isn't it nice to see fireworks kind of how they used to look? No overpackaging. And um, yeah, it reminds me of the old standard fireworks. Fire an ice wheel, a grand total, an incredible nine grams. <laughs> so 4.5 grams per driver. And it's obviously joined with some um, fast views there to get the two drivers going at the same time. And hopefully it will spin. These are my favourites in the box. Because they really are like the old standard fireworks in terms of the size. Or any sort of fireworks that were in the 80s really. This one uh, is... Uh, where are we? Uh, 10 grams. So just another fountain. I think that won't crackle. 
It's a bar humbug. Lovely artwork. Green Envy. I'm hoping we just get some nice green in here. Uh, another 10 gram fountain. Again, no over packaging. Now these uh, are obviously the candles and these are six grams and you get five shots and you think well look at the size of say that which is 10 grams compared to that which is six grams okay but I would say also that there's some physics involved in a, a candle because the longer the tube the, the better the pressure so that it will shoot up higher the longer the tube so I would say this is why this kind of thing tends to happen. But again, lovely artwork, Neptune's creatures. And another one called Grasshoppers. So these would be great for the low noise display for the children. Obviously only five shots and not gonna last very long at all. Five shot Roman candle. Everything is F2 obviously in this box. And it's got an old style lighter as well, just like you used to get in a standard fireworks uh, box. <laughs> so that's cool. Totally useless, of course. I'll be using port fires or my um, uh, gas torch or whatever. Comes with a fireworks safety firework code, British Firework Association. By the way, if you're into pyro um, and nostalgic pyro English stuff, make sure you join the um, the firework forum, the British firework forum. It's really great. Um, it's great to connect with people and stuff. So uh, anyway, so there we go. Kim Bolton. Price-wise, you can pay anything up to £42 for that box. Unbelievable, isn't it? Um, but the average um, I've seen is about 33 uh, Galactic are doing it for 24 so excellent that's more like it, isn't it I wouldn't have normally paid 42 pounds um, for that box but of course I didn't I ordered the gold box and I got these two together uh, and this also came as part of um, a low noise pack that I ordered from Phoenix fireworks who've taken over Kim Bottom um, yeah but nice to see no over packaging. Let me know your thoughts, feelings about this. Um, and we'll do a really good breakdown um, with each one individually. We'll fire in the garden, we'll take our time, we won't rush it, see if we can get some decent video. So we'll have a good comparison and we'll see what crackles, what doesn't. And uh, if we've got any nice colours. Okay, take care. Thank you for watching this video.